Hey guys, all right. So look, when I was um, you know investigating all of this hip bone business with Dr. Lovejoy, it was really hard to work out exactly what he did. Now, you know, I suppose Nephilim, you're justified in some way that you know that he took to it with an angle grinder. You know, who knows what he got up to? You know, it's very difficult to understand it from just reading text. So, I've done. I've gone a little bit further than that. We'll start with this. This is the um, the hip bones of a chimpanzee, Australopithecus, and a human. The point here I want to point out is that the Australopithecus hu um, hip bone and the human hip bone are very similar. So, um, what I've done is I've downloaded a model, a bad model, but a model of a human hip bone. Cleaned it up a little bit myself. And anyway, it will do for our demonstration purposes. Next, back to these pictures again. Little bit, let's learn a little bit about a hip bone. You've got the iliac, this is the ilium, this is the, this blade here, the ilium. The sacrum, all right, that's that middle bit in the, in the middle. And the um, ischium, whatever, we don't even care about that. Sacrum and ilium are the important bits. Here's another view. The ilium and um, the sacrum, all right? And there's another important thing, which is the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint, whatever. Okay, that's a little sort of membrane that goes in between the sacrum and the ilium. And um, the sacrum can actually move independently of the ilium. You can actually rotate your sacrum forward and backwards a little bit independently of these blades. Anyway, okay. The next picture I just want to show you is this. And this is, you know, this is Lucy's hip bone. This is the Australopithecus hip bone. And it's like, what is going on here? It's very difficult to understand. But up here is the, the broken bit, the deformity. This is where it's squished. It's this, okay? N you saw from the ilium before, these blades extend up they're flat. This is clearly broken. Those are shards of bone that have come away. Okay? And that is the top bit, the top rounded bit of the of the blade. This edge here is over here. This is broken. And this is what Dr. Lovejoy repaired. So let's have a look at it in 3D. Alright, so this is the the model that I downloaded. Remember, this is a human hip bone, but I'm using this as an example. First of all, what is this bit? Where is this? Well, I can't make any sense out of what's going on there. Well, just back to the diagram, just for a sec. It's this area, just here, where the ilium meets the sacrum. Alright? Okay, so here's the hip bone. Okay, just like in one of these pictures. Okay, hip bone, hip bone. And now I will rotate the hip bone so that it's at the same angle as this picture to show you where it is and what this picture means. Here we go. Through the wonders of 3D. Here we go. And there it is. Alright. Come here. There's our little uh, holy bit. There's our long bladey bit, and there's the bladey bit at the top of the crest of the ilium. Alright, um, and so we've got this squished bit. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to squish it. And the same way, and squish. Okay, so although this isn't a perfectly accurate, smaccurate, super duper accurate, I mean this is, this is the same thing, right? So this is squished over, bent over, as they say, and I read all the documents, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, bent over at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's the, the blade. Now, let's go and check out what they found you know, on good old Australopithecus. This is the, basically, this is the whole thing, right? This is what they found. They found, okay, the sacrum thing whatever it was called, I've forgotten now. Yeah, the sacrum and this um, blade, this ilium thing. And it had this bent bit, as we've already seen, 
and then Dr. Owen Lovejoy in that even in the Nova video right even in the lame lame Nova video claimed and showed how these two things had become fused together okay remember that the good doctor knows that the sacroiliac joint is supposed to be in between there. it's supposed to be a gap all right so he knows that gap is supposed to be there and so again through the wonders of computer animation I will show you exactly and I read like all the documents are right and I took this from the pictures that they showed me and the verbal verbal description that they had written this is what he did he first of all separated the two pieces which and I've exaggerated it is producing the sacroiliac joint but he can't leave it there that bit is not right that is not right and it goes they say at length in both documents that this has to be repaired for the evidence to be valuable for us to make useful information out of this and so he, he repaired it and he did that and that is what Dr. Owen Lovejoy did to the Lucy hip bone he repaired it so that we could examine it for evidence